Despite the historic weekend deal struck between OPEC and some of the biggest oil produ producers in the world to cut oil output by 9.7 million barrels a day, U.S. President Donald Trump intervenes and says the new figures may be more than double that. Our Yi Seung-jae tells us more. Just a day after the OPEC plus group of oil producers agreed to cut output by 9.7 million barrels a day, U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter to hint that the deal may be more than double the initial agreement, a total of 20 million barrels a day. Touting his involvement in the negotiations, Trump says if such an agreement can be reached, the energy industry will be strong again when the world gets back to business from COVID-19. He also thanked Russia and Saudi Arabia for working with them to get things back on track. The decision to make further cuts may have come as U.S. markets shrugged off the initial cut. Market experts last week had stated that major oil producers would need to curtail crude production by 15 to 20 million barrels a day over the coming months in order to make up for a slump in demand due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Goldman Sachs also downplayed the initial agreement, saying no voluntary cuts could be large enough to offset the 19 billion barrels a day average demand loss expected for April to May. Meanwhile, according to Russia's energy minister Alexander Novak, the nation's oil companies agreed to the reduction under the OPEC plus agreement after a meeting with Russia's energy ministry. He also stressed the U.S., Norway, and several other oil producing countries have also announced their intent to reduce output to match the 20 million barrels a day cut. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.